Hello everyone. This is Betsy with PT Max. Thank you so much for joining in to learn something new. In this lesson, I'd like to discuss with you how to copy and paste links into emails or even into a post uh, on social media but primarily how to copy and paste links. In our last lesson, we talked about the URL, and that is this link that is displayed across the top of, of a web page. If you're on your Facebook page, uh, it looks like that. That's my, my Facebook page, my business page. If you're on Twitter, uh, it, it is your username, uh, it's twitter.com followed by your username and so on. So if you need more information on that, please visit my YouTube channel and uh, locate the video on URL. Do you know your URL? Uh, why is it important? Well, in this case, if you wanted to communicate with someone, uh, gain more exposure to your Facebook page, you know, the only way it gets seen is that people see it on social media and if they're not following you, uh, they don't know it exists. So I wanted to cover how to uh, compose an email. Uh, I'm using my Gmail inbox for this lesson. You might be uh, using Outlook. It's the same premise. I want you to compose an email, uh, something like this, where it's uh, I'm sending this to myself just as a test email. The subject would be something like, check out and like my Facebook page. And in the body of the email, you're going to type it as usual. You can see here in my signature, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, you can see I have a link in my signature. Uh, and that's something that we are covering in this lesson. But primarily, if you wanted the body of the email to, to sound something like this, I'm so glad you've decided to join us today, or please check out and like my Facebook page. In this case, I've titled it mine, PC Mac. So I'd like to turn this text into a link so that when I send it out, the person on the other end, all they'll have to do is click that text and that will take them to my page. And it's done something like this. So I've opened up a couple of tabs in my browser. That makes it easy. Uh, first of all, it's visually easy. I've got Facebook open here and I have navigated to my business page. So you would do the same. And if you'd like to follow along after you've watched this all the way through, you could certainly pause the video uh, put the video up on a computer and YouTube on one tab and then open up the tabs and you can easily follow along. So once you have your Facebook business page up, I want you to click and drag in the URL bar to select your URL. That's the entire website address, facebook.com slash, and then it's usually the name of your business page. If you're doing this on your personal page, you can do that as well. So if you are uh, gaining a presence as a person on Facebook, uh, this would be mine. Uh, your Facebook uh, URL uh, is also available for your, per for your personal page. You would just have to navigate to your, uh, you would have to navigate to it and um, uh, to see the unique URL there. So I'm gonna navigate back to my business page and uh, we're gonna copy that URL. And now there's two ways to copy. You don't see a copy uh, button up here, so to speak. Um, you can do that with a right click. If you're comfortable with that on your mouse, you can hover your mouse pointer over that highlighted area, right click on the mouse, and then there you go, you have copy as an option. If you uh, prefer, you can use the keyboard. On a Mac, it would be Command-C, and on a Windows computer, it would be Control-C. 
Just to let you know that is an option as well. We're gonna navigate back to our email tab and then highlight that text that we wanna change into a link. Now Gmail down here in the bar at the bottom has a link, let me scroll down here for you. It has a link uh, where you can click the chain link button and it asks you what text you wanna display. And then in this box here, you need the web address. So that's where now you're gonna take your pointer, you're gonna right click and then choose paste. And that takes the link, the URL, from your Facebook page that we just copied and it pasted it in there. When you click OK, you can see it's visually different. The uh, text changes color and it's underlined to indicate that it's now a link. And pretty much you're ready to go. Uh, Gmail gives you this little pop up here. Uh, you could change it if you think that there's some something wrong with it. You don't like the text that's displaying. Uh, you could obviously remove the link if you're not happy with it and go back to plain text. And then you're done. All you do is you send the email from there. Now let's talk a little bit about your uh, social media. So when you are on Facebook, let's say, and I'm gonna navigate to a group that I have. I have a iPad, iPhone, tips group. Uh, if you'd like to be a member, you could certainly uh, send me an email. Uh, I have an email link on the contact us page on my website. Uh, just to show you that in a minute, you can go to pcmactechnology.com and click on contact and then you can send me, uh, send me an email from there. Uh, if you want to have a request to be added to one of my Facebook groups. Uh, nice to get tips and tricks on these. This is really why I'm doing these, these videos now. Um, most likely uh, your best bet is to just subscribe to my YouTube page. And uh, if you want tips, uh, there'll be videos eventually on every topic there. That's my goal. I say every, we'll see how close I get to that. Well, here we are in a post on Facebook, and uh, you might want to ask your followers to please follow uh, this link uh, to, it could be to purchase my book, it could be to watch my YouTube video, um, and so on. So you're going to type the plain text. And then this is a new symbol here that Facebook is providing for group members uh, to uh, like a, use different fonts. Uh, and you really only see it in posts within groups on Facebook. Um, but here you are, once again, there's no copy or paste button. Um, but if I right click and choose paste, then the same link that I just used a moment ago is uh, pasted. I don't have to go copy it again. It's still on what's called the clipboard. Um, you can also use that, uh, remember those shortcut keys, you can use control C is for copy, control V as in Victor is for paste. And no, it's not control P as in Peter. People always think why P should be for paste. Uh, P is taken up as a shortcut for printing, just as an aside. I always try to tell, remind people, a good analogy for paste to me is picture an Elmer's glue bottle upside down. The point reminds me of a V pointing down, uh, those orange tips on the tip of Elmer's glue bottles. Uh, if you ever had that experience in elementary school using, element, uh, using uh, Elmer's glue, and that always reminded me of a V. So that's how I remember and always have remembered control V as in Victor, that's the letter I'm using. But once again, this is how you paste in a link. Nice, right? So you could, you could really, now you could go to the internet, 
You could find an article that you'd like to paste into a post. Uh, you could go to um, you could go to YouTube. That's often uh, very popular. And let's say you want to look at my YouTube page. Let's use that as an example. And so you bring up a, a video. There's the one on URL. And there is a, a link up here. You see that there? Any article that you go to the, the, on the internet, any web page will have this up in the URL bar. Um, but YouTube is kind of unique in that underneath where the video plays, there is a share button right there. I'm going to close out right there if you see my, my mouse pointer. And it says share underneath where the video plays. When you click there, you get this box with a real nice clean link and a copy button. So you don't have to right click. Uh, you don't have to control C or command C. You can just click copy and then all those steps are done for you. And then all you do is you return back to your social media. You can say, uh, please, you know, please watch this uh, great video tutorial. And I'm gonna get rid of the other one that we had and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose paste. And there is the YouTube link. And you see it brings forth the title of the YouTube video and any, uh, any picture that was associated with it. Uh, finally, we return back to your email. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was the signature. Now, if you're just getting started with a business or if you've been in business for years and you're finding that you're starting now to get more of a presence online and you'd like people to know where to find you, uh, in sending your emails daily to your colleagues and contacts and prospective clients, if the link was in your signature and it always showed up there, uh, it would be an, an, a very convenient way for people to check you out. Um, I'm just going to delete this text here and just show you that if you were to just type this every time at the bottom of an email that you send and you do your www pcmactechnology.com, let's say, that's my website. Now it types it out in regular text. So what you have to do is you have to select it and then click on that link button to turn it into a link. Uh, you could of course uh, do the copy and paste that we just did in this lesson. Please try that out. Let me know how that goes. But more importantly is how do you feel about typing this every single time you send out an email? That's probably not what you are uh, happy about. So what I'm going to recommend that you do is in the upper right corner of your Gmail page, there is a gear and you're going to click the gear and choose settings. Um, if you are on Outlook, uh, it's a different button on Outlook where settings is located. Uh, I will be creating an Outlook tutorial uh, soon to show you how to do this on Outlook. Um, if you are in a different email platform, a different email client, uh, settings is usually displayed in the upper right corner. Sometimes it is displayed underneath um, three stacked dots. Uh, but a gear is usually the icon representing settings. And so here we are in the Gmail inbox. We are on settings right here, you see. On the general tab, you can see this bar underneath has lots of stuff in here where Gmail does what it does. Uh, lays out the page for you. These are all things that you can change. But for today's lesson, I'm gonna scroll down just so you can see the section in here, signature. You're able to uh, have multiple emails in Gmail. That's a, a little uh, a, a little secret that I can tell you more about. 
Um, that's what I really love about Gmail inbox is that you can have multiple emails. I can have my personal email come in through here as well as my business email. I have an older email that I've had for a while and so on. And they all come through here. I have a client that uh, I use an email for and so on. But let's direct our attention here to the settings, the signature section. And here's the text. All you're going to do is, I'm just going to delete some of this so you can see me do it, demonstrate it for you. So you're going to type out everything you want to come up automatically in, in every email. And that's usually your name, your full name, uh, the name of your company. It might be contact information. Uh, this is my tagline. And then when you're ready to do the link, you can either do your uh, paste if it's still something you just copied, you could certainly do the paste, or if it's just a straight ahead uh, website address, you can just go ahead and, and type that. Uh, don't leave it plain text like that. You need to select it because we need it to be a link. Uh, it needs to be, it's usually highlighted in blue and it's uh, uh, underlined, indicating that it's a link. You'll you'll see it light up. But here is the link button, that chain link button. That's what Google um, Gmail's button looks like. And when we click there, just automatically makes my highlighted text into a link. And that's it. You must scroll down from here. Uh, there is a save changes at the bottom. Uh, look at the bottom here. This is an area people always look for. They look for the vacation responder. So uh, as we pass over that, if, uh, well, you just got back from vacation most likely, but if you're going on a fall vacation or one coming up at the end of the year for the holidays, uh, this is where you would put on a vacation responder. And that's when people email you and you don't want to have to tell them that you're out of the office. You can put in an automatic uh, message that goes right back to them. So that's a little tangent there. I'll probably have another video about that um, uh, coming up. And at the bottom here, look for save changes. You must click save changes in order to change that signature. Uh, wonderful. So just to review, it, uh, you're going to practice navigating to a page that has a, a unique URL. There's my, my group. If you want to navigate to your business page, you're going to uh, start in social media. Uh, I have my business page listed there on the left sidebar. And then you're going to click and drag over the URL in the URL bar, right click on it and choose copy. And off you go. As long as you set up these tabs ahead of time, uh, it should be very straightforward. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. And I will uh, meet you up again in our next lesson. Thank you very much for joining us today. Have a great day.